I can't think of a single legal basis for this judge to allow her to testify about anything, let alone going on and on and on about her allegations. He did that because he wants the jury to hear it, because he wants the jury to speculate, because he wants the jury to be thinking about Donald Trump writ large rather than the case in front of them. Okay, judge, makes me wonder about you. What kind of hack are you in that robe? What's going on with you, pal? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me just say this right off the top. You know, uh, this trial that we've talked about in Manhattan, this judge allows Stormy Daniels to testify on and on and on. And her testimony has absolutely nothing to do with even the ambiguous charges that these SOARS prosecutors brought in Manhattan. And he brings her in there. Now, this is not probative this testimony. It provides no evidence related to anything, even the ambiguous charges. In fact, it's called, as I've mentioned before, collateral evidence. And as I've also mentioned before, so the legal analysts all over the uh, cable world are now regurgitating it, uh, collateral evidence is unconstitutional because it's not probative of anything related to the case. It's brought in there to smear an individual or to create a, an impression of a pattern or a history for the jury, which the jury's not allowed to hear or know or anything else. And of course, even in New York, the highest court there throughout the Harvey Weinstein case, even though that guy's a pervert and a rapist and all the rest of it. Oh, did I mention a Democrat? Uh, and um, they threw it out. Well, this case with Trump, with the collateral evidence, makes that case look like a joke because this is all collateral evidence, virtually all of it. And Stormy Daniels is the tip of the spear. I think we should rename this case the porno case because the judge was, seemed to really be into this. The judge knew what the prosecution was going to do. Defense counsel said what the prosecution and their witness Stormy Daniels would do, but he let her testify anyway even though there's absolutely no relevance. So I have a theory about this, that the judge is a pervert. I don't know this for a fact. I mean, I don't know the guy. How would I know? But why would he allow Stormy Daniels to testify for an entire day, effectively, about sex? I mean, after all, he is wearing a robe, if you get my drift. So I suggest that maybe he is. Now, I said that on radio the other night, and these Soros propaganda operation, Media Matters, was quite offended, so they actually wrote down the text of what I said and recorded it and have circulated among its uh, acolytes in the media. And I hope they use it because maybe the judge is a pervert for all I know. Why the hell? I can't think of a single legal basis for this judge to allow her to testify about anything, let alone going on and on and on about her allegations. And so that's my speculation. You know, he did that because he wants the jury to hear it, because he wants the jury to speculate, because he wants the jury to be thinking about Donald Trump writ large rather than the case in front of them. Okay, judge, well, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. It makes me think about you, it makes me wonder about you. What kind of hack are you in that robe? What's going on with you, pal? For all this and much more, sign up for Levin TV.